Evening coffee. So greetings from Vagabond Expedition. And I am somewhere in Saskatchewan. There's some other travelers in behind me there. So as you can see, I'm in an urban location right now, grabbing some shade from the setting sun. Fighting off mosquitoes too. Just wanted to show you uh, something quick here. As you guys know, I use the uh, single burner stove system for pretty much everything that I do. Um, and you get these, this one here is what, a 230 gram isobutane mix. And uh, you can get bigger ones, you can get smaller ones for backpacking. I like them because they're versatile for what I do do. And that is a little bit of everything, whether it's in the Jeep or if I'm out hiking, you throw one of these in the backpack and the little stove and you're, and you're good to go. But they generate waste and places don't like you throwing fuel cylinders into recycling. They think because things go boom or they ignite and then fire departments are called and shuts down plants and all that kind of stuff. So with these, you can buy a thing called the Crunch It from Jetboil. And I'll just very quickly show you how it works. It spins onto the head of the fuel can, because they're threaded in there. Threads on there. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting eaten by bugs. Time for bug spray. It's threads on through here, and it's got a little punch piece right there that punches holes in the can. You see I've already done this one and it just lets it vent and there's no risk to explosion or anything like that. So I'll just I'll change the camera here show you how it works. All right so real quick and then I can get some bug spray on and uh, or jump in the Jeep and get away from these savage mosquitoes. Fuel can, crunch it tool, this orange piece you see dangling is just a protector. It goes on over top of the pokey piece, just so you don't uh, shove it through your hand when you're fishing through your gear trying to get the, the tool out. Pull the orange piece aside. Set that on your fuel can. Spin it down just like you would be spinning the stove on in place of the tool. So, thread it on there. I thread it snug, and then I just start making holes. Just push it down, squeeze, give it a bit of a turn. Just like so. And it punctures the can. Do that half a dozen times. This one's a little overkill. Half a dozen times, take that off of there, and the can is now recyclable. As usual, I'll leave links down below where you can get your crunch tool. And if you've got any questions or comments, also leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.